For a spring that obeys a linear force, restoring force, in other words, a Hooke's law force, we have that the period is proportional to the square root of the mass divided by the spring constant. So if we want to experimentally determine the spring constant, all we need to do is measure the mass of the object on the spring and the period of oscillation. We're going to use two apps. The first is the Mobile Science Harmonic Motion app, and it works in conjunction with the second app to determine the period. When the Harmonic Motion app is opened, there's some choices to make. First is to choose how many data points will be used in the second part of the experiment. The other is to choose which axis will be the oscillation axis. When Collect Data is chosen from the Mobile Science Harmonic Motion app, a second app opens, the Physics Toolbox Accelerometer. It's this app that will actually take the acceleration data, and then the Mobile Science app will put that data into a spreadsheet. For the present experiment, we're going to actually use a rubber band as a spring, and the rubber band is fairly linear as long as the oscillations are not too large. With the Physics Toolbox Accelerometer app running, the record button is pushed, and then the cell phone or tablet is pulled down so that there are oscillations. After the oscillations are done, the button is again pushed to stop the recording of data. Here is a typical screen capture of the uh, Physics Toolbox acceleration data as the bouncing slows down due to friction. Once the data has been collected, the back button is pushed to go back to the uh, Mobile Science app, and then Analyze is chosen. A spreadsheet is then generated with the data on it. From this data, what we can do is, first off, find the period of oscillation by counting a certain number of oscillations and then dividing by the time taken for that set of oscillations. This spreadsheet can also be downloaded to a computer for more careful analysis. The previous values gives us an average period of about half a second. The cell phone mass is about 290 grams, and that gives a K value, a spring constant of about 0.5. It should be noted in, in the data that the accelerations are positive for the phone accelerating upwards, but negative when the phone accelerates downwards. We also notice that the amplitude of the swings is getting lower and lower. This is an exponential decay due to friction, and it can be analyzed by the cell phone app also. You can also analyze this from a spreadsheet as it's been downloaded to a computer. This is the exponential decay, and B is the damping coefficient. M is, of course, the mass, and A is the initial amplitude. And this equation can be used to fit the decreasing peaks in the acceleration. If we take a natural logarithm of both sides of the equation, we find that the data should fit a straight line with a slope of negative b over 2m. This will allow us to find out what the damping coefficient b is. The Mobile Science app does the linear fit for us and calculates the values of the slope and the y-intercept for this set of data. From the data in the spreadsheet, we find that the damping coefficient is about 0.36 kilograms per second. And again, the spreadsheets can be downloaded from the cell phone to a computer to be further analyzed.